We've lived in the house for 16 years and we've probably had water problems for about 12 of those years. In the past, we had a few leaks in the basement um, on the north side of the house, basically where the wall meets the floor. There was some of my husband's album collection that got warped, but uh, it was really in a work area that wasn't really affected. But that's the area where we want to make into a family room, media room, we put carpeting down, so we want to make sure that it doesn't leak in the future. My husband and I are not do-it-yourselfers, and we tried to do our own uh, do-it-yourself. The sealer remedy, it was something we just painted on the wall and that seemed to work for a couple years and then that didn't work anymore. We have a contractor that a friend of mine recommended he did her basement and he was really good and high quality and he seemed to stick to the time frame pretty well. Boy, if I had a nickel for every time I had heard a homeowner say, we tried and we tried and we tried and we couldn't solve it and we finally decided to hire a professional, I wouldn't have to do this television show. But I am and we're here to help. You know, on House Smarts, it's not just about the do-it-yourself stuff. Sometimes you need a professional, and the key is to do your homework, to find the right people, and then ask the right questions so the job gets done right. Well, we're lucky because we've got a professional organization. Permaseal Basement Systems is doing the work here. Robert Barshevsky, who is the operations manager, is here. Robert, nice to see you. How you doing, Luke? Good now, to see you. you kind of oversee a lot of the different projects that Permaseal does, right? That's correct. And you guys are doing, what, hundreds of jobs a year? Thousands. Thousands of jobs. Thousands. So from little leaks to big leaks, and you've got well, you've got a pretty good-sized project on your hand we here, We sure right? do. All right, Robert is going to walk us through the process so you, too, can understand what it takes to keep your basement dry. The homeowner has complained about water in the basement. Now, water can come into a basement in three manners. It can come through the wall, over the top of the wall, or from where the wall and the floor meet, or actually underneath the floor. So when they're dealing with that kind of problem, what you want to do is be able to relieve water pressure that accumulates around the exterior of the building and force it its way inside, up through the floor or through the wall. When we actually do the digging, we come in with a compressor and jackhammers, and we break the floor, remove the debris, and we dig a, hide a deep and wide trench, roughly eight by eight inches. After that, we put in a four inch diameter perforated PVC drain tile, and then we surround that with gravel. All of this water from these uh, drain tiles you're putting in are gonna flow into a sump pump, and are they doing a backup too? Tom and Mariah are doing a battery backup unit, which is a must for all systems. I am always amazed at how many people will spend the kind of money to do this work and then not do a backup sump pump. I mean, my advice to you is, you're, you know, obviously this is an expensive proposition to do, and the add-on, right, to do a backup pump really isn't that much, but the peace of mind is amazing. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Well, Robert, thanks so much for showing this to us. We're going to let you guys get back to work. <laughs> 